guys, how are you all doing? Um, I just came back from Manila from my Iloilo, Bacolod, Cebu, uh, and Bohol trip. So, I visited four islands in three days. Uh, it was a tiring trip, but it was so much fun and I'm very, I'm still very excited kahit gabi na. And I want to try all of this. I, I got this Pasalubong delicacies from the different islands I visited. So, I want to make a reaction video for all of these. Where do I start? Okay. I got my scissors. Yeah. Okay. Um, first, let's try, I think, the otap. They call it puff pastry in English. So basically, it is puff pastry. I've tried Otaps before, but this one is, this brand is different and they say it's a good brand, so I'm going to try it. This is Conchi, 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 yeah, so this one, yeah. Well, it's not that sweet compared to the otap na natitikman ko. Kasi yung mantitikman ko otap, it has lots of sugar. Pero ito, more biscuity siya. So, I forgot eh, pero may kalasa siyang ibang biscuit. Pero, yeah. Good though. Good. Um, next one is... Next one is dried mango rind. I don't think it's called mangarin. I, I believe it's called mangarin because it's mango and hammering. <laughs> hmm. Kalasa niya yung isang palok na nabibili. Dito sa Philippines. Um, isang palok balls na matamis na maraming so far, pero it's still sour. Uh, pero mas light siya kasi it has a hint of mango. So, chewy siya. And, lasang-lasa mo yung mango more than the tamarin. So, sarap. <laughs> Next one is dried mango tamarin balls. So, Actually, kaya ako pinili tong mango tamarind balls. Dried mango tamarind balls. It's because um, if you're familiar with the movie na nakalimutan ko lang kalimutan ka. So, oh. famous doon yung tamarind balls. Since I cannot find tamarind balls, which is, it's from Bataan, I think. Um, I went with dried mango and tamarind balls. I think this is also almost the same with <coughs> dried mango ring. So hmm. the difference is itong dried mango ring mas malasa yung mango. Itong Dried mango tamarind balls. Well, these are different brands. Uh, yung dried mango in this 7D. This one is Philippine brand. So, mas malasa naman dito sa dried mango tamarind balls yung tamarind than mango. So, it's both chewy. It's both with sugar. Uh, but the... But different levels of sweetness. Kasi, 
Mas matamis yung mango rin than the dry tamarind. Wait. Nawawala yung focus. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Next one. Um, this one. Dried mango balls. Okay. Well, kung pa yung lasa nito? Lasa mangka, malama. <laughs> Alam nyo, surprisingly, from the mango rim, the mango tamarind balls, mango balls yung pinaka-sour. And I don't know why. It's Philippine brand as well. Pero ito yung pinaka-sour. Of lasa mo yung mangga, but it's more of, ano, more of, more of yung hindi matamis na mangga. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Wait, may nag-alarm nag yung phone ko. Yan. Next one. Oh, this one is very famous. Although, I haven't tried this brand. These are dried mangoes. So, yeah. These are very famous in Cebu. Actually, meron rin ito din sa Manila. Um, some of these naman nasa Manila. Pero, I tried to to buy the brands na medyo hindi ko nakikita sa Manila. Though the dried mango rin nakikita ko yun. <clears throat> Pero, sige. Dried mangoes. Okay. Hindi siya maasim. Matamis siya. And it's chewy. Kaya hindi sa katulad ng ibang dried mangoes, magtitikma ko na medyo matiga, tsaka makunap. Tama naman si ate kanina pinagbilang ko. I mean, kahapon pala yun. <laughs> really good. Mm. Next. Next one is dried green mangoes naman. Actually, I'm not a fan of dried green... Uh, I'm not a fan of green mangoes. Pero, sometimes, kinakain ko siya with pagong, the usual. Pero, I bought this actually for my mom. Sorry, mom. Titikman ko muna siya for this reaction. Tapos, bigay ko na lang sa'yo after. <laughs> Doesn't think, it doesn't smell like dried mangoes. But uh, yeah, here it is. Mm. Mas light siya. And... Mas maano eh. Kala ko ba yun siya? Mas medyo may crisp. Kasi ito chewy. It is more... Di ba ang pag uh, dried mango sa mga kinakain nyo? Ay, ang dried mango. Sa green mango sa mga pagkinakain nyo, di ba? Mas ano siya? <laughs> mas, ma, mas, mas crispy siya. Yun. Pero, ayun. Uh, parang ganun yung difference siya. Mas chewy to. Like, like the usual ripe mangoes, mas soft. Tapos ito mas, ano siya, mas chunky. Mas medyo may crisp. Pero since then, they are dried na. Dried fruits na. They are both still chewy. Next one is, let's try this. This one is the special biscotto by Mercy. Actually, Mercy, uh, it's like um, it's as famous as bongbongs in Visayas. So, just so, I think they have good biscocho. I've tried this already. I've tried other biscochos already, but I haven't tried this one. So.
Поэтому. Can you hear this sound? Hold on. It's like toasted bread, but it's more milky. It's like it's like mamon tostado, but it's like toasted bread na hybrid. Basta, para siyang ano eh, um, para siyang cake na toasted, tapos may sugar, may glaze ng sugar, parang glaze na siya eh, hindi mo na actually makikita yung, here, hindi mo na siya, hindi mo na actually makikita yung, yung granules, bukod sa malabo yung camera ko. <laughs> Hindi ko parang makita sa inyo ito, no? Sige, later. Hindi ko makita yung candy sa inyo kanina. Basically, mukha nila lang yung mga sampalok na bibili natin. Next one. Let's try the butter scotch. This one is plain butter scotch. Ilo ilo is famous for their butter scotch. Let's try. It says here it's made with muscovado sugar. Walang sinabi yung ibang butters kasi na tikmang ko. Lasong-lasong may yung burnt sugar, yung caramel, yung butter. Tapos, medyo crusty siya outside. Pero inside, sobrang moist niya. Tapos, native yung lasang. May lasa siyang native. Maybe because of the muscovado sugar, I'm not sure. But it doesn't, it doesn't feel like yung butterscotch na binibili mo on a normal bakery. It's like, it's really made with love. Aww. Love. <laughs> Ay, naka. Gabi na kasi. Anyway, try natin yung mango flavor. Sorry, nakakalimutan ko i-focus yung ano. Pero sige, since na almost the same naman ang itsura, i-focus ko na. Hindi nyo pa rin ko eh. Yan. Para siyang Nori Cubes. Mas matamis siya ng konti dun sa plate. Pero, mas light yung pagka-bake niya. So, ito kasi talagang lasa mo yung pagka-toasted, parang siyang burnt sugar. Ito parang more on milky, um, buttery, scotch. <laughs> Ayan, uh, what do you call this? A milky buttery bar. Ayan, so, tapos, basta hindi kasi makikita pero lasang lasa yung mango and it's not sour actually yung mango niya is tamis mm. ang tamis sin tamis ng tamkili <laughs> and next one biyaya How do they spell piyaya? Kasi before, I'm sure, bakit parang nakalagay na piyaya? But I'm sure, guys, na piyaya. 
I've tried Piaya pero ang na-try ko pa lang before was Bongbong. Nasaan yung gunting? Was Bongbongs. So I'm going to try this for Fortuna Bake Cebu Fortuna Bakery. Compare dun sa usual na piyaya na bibili ko. Especially bongbongs. Mas crusty siya. It both has the same beauty in it. Yung bongbongs kasi moist yung loob. And makapal kasi siya. Ito manipis. So, ang crusty na is really light. Pero, matapang yung filling niya as well. So, hindi ko, hindi naman tabang, kahit manipis. Hmm. Kaya na pinifigure out ko, pinatry kong i-figure out kung ano talaga spelling ng piyakya. Eh, well, ang flavor ito. <laughs> uh, yung piyakya ko siya na alam ko is P-I-Y-A-Y-A. But, yung piyaya na iba ng kita ko is P-I-A-Y-A. Ayun, gum! Pwede ba mag-comment kayo kung anong tama? Is it P-Y-A-Y-A? Or P-P-Y-A-Y-A? <laughs> anyway. Hindi ko mamatay siyang uhaw ko. Sandali lang. Our next one. Nasa na ako. I have this polvoron. Yan. Basically, it's not, I think it's not a delicacy of Visayas, but I love kolboron kasi. Mahalang kasi yung kolboron is better than other kolborons in the country. So, I want to try it. Tsaka ang laki kasi niya. Piling ko sobrang milky na. Yeah, so, baka si Maduro. So, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sobrang thick niya. I think, I think sobrang dami skin milk nito. It's very milky actually. Ito siya kayong kabattery. Parang mukhang tinagtad siya ng gatas. Hmm. Hmm. Ano kaya sa focus? Naantok na ito yung camera ko eh. Hi guys, Jervin Marquez here and for more food, travel, and personal vlogs you may visit and subscribe to my channel or for any questions you may drop a comment in any of my social media accounts. See you later!